Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem sixty-three in chapter twenty-one. Chapter twenty-one is about electric charge and electric field dense. So you can see there we have a dipole, and then it tell us the dipole's moment. So we write it there p, and also tell us the distance between the two charges, right? The L, and also we know the fundamental charge. It's just a one point six times ten power negative nineteen coulomb. First one, I skew the net charge on each atom. So in this one, we write down the function for the dipole moment. So dipole moment is charge times the distance. So you can see in this function, very easily we can write the function for charge. We can see the charge is a moment divided by the distance. Input the known quantity. We get the answer there. The next one ask you is this equal to an integral multiple of electrons? So you can see this is a charge these two atoms carry, right? And also we know the charge of the electron carry one negative fundamental charge, and the absolute value for the charge carried by electron we can write it there. So we ask is this equal to an integral multiple? So Is this the integral? We can use the total charge Q divided by fundamental charge, and we find that this is not integral, right? It's not integral. It is zero point two one float. So that means no. This is not not, not the net charge on each atom is not an integral multiple of the E, right? Okay. The next one. What maximum torque would this dipole experience in the this electric field? Is? So we can write down the magnitude for this electric field E at zero. Now, if we want to calculate the torque, we use this function: torque equal to p momentum times E times the sine theta. You can see this p is fixed at zero, right? It's given at zero. E is given at zero. It looks like if we want to make the torque maximum, so we need to make the term sine theta maximum. So sine theta can be the maximum of sine theta is just a one. Do you agree? So the torque maximum is p times e. Input the known quantity. Did answer there. The next one we need to find the how much energy would be needed to rotate one molecule forty five degree from its balanced position of the lowest potential energy. So now. How much energy is needed? This is ask you the work, right? The work you need to do, and also, um, we can write down the work done by this dipole is negative p e cosine theta. This is this function on your test book. You can double check, and then you you see it is we need to rotate it to 45 degree. So theta. Two is forty-five, and then from where? So initial angle, you can see it is a balanced position of lowest potential energy, zero, right? So theta one is zero. Therefore, we can use the final uh, change of energy divided by the initial of the energy change. So this is a work done in this case. Input known quantity. Get answer there. Thank you.